Welcome to the Hunch Report. And today we're cooking ramen, and I'm calling this the umami bomb. Umami is a Japanese word meaning rich, salty flavor. And we're gonna do this super fast. I'm gonna get you out the door in under 15 minutes, or your money back, guaranteed. We're talking bok choy, browned eggplants, carrots. Before we do that, I need your support to keep this channel going. Please give me thumbs up. Please subscribe. All right, let's do some ramen. So, what we're gonna need. This is the Myojo Chukazanmai soy sauce flavor. Now this is a Japanese style ramen, and you can get this on Amazon.com under three bucks. And it really is the key to this recipe. It gives you that flavor. It is leagues above better than any other Japanese um, ramen that you're gonna find on the shelves. Now because it's the umami explosion, uh, the things that we're gonna fry are a carrot and an eggplant. And the things that we're gonna boil are bok choy, um, the shiitake mushrooms, a touch of shallot, and if you want, a little bit of chili uh, pepper for flavor. So, let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut about four slices from the eggplant. Nice and thick, uh, about a quarter to a half inch thick. Put that aside and let's prepare our carrot. It's gonna take the skin off, but uh, so, a little thinner than the um, than the eggplant. And we just wanna wanna keep them like this, um, and we'll cut them after because it's easier. It's easier to fry things when they're in big pieces. The thing about eggplants is that they absorb a lot of oil. Put some oil in. You want to get it right on top of the eggplants. And then let, let them absorb it, you know, for about 30 seconds. And you're going to want to do that again. So we see now that, you know, there's still some parts of the eggplant that haven't gotten absorbed oil. The pan has some oil in it, but it will it will get absorbed. Uh, even the bottom of this flipped one isn't uh, fully saturated with oil. When that occurs, uh, the eggplant's gonna burn instead of fry. So, let's do another dose of oil. Now the key is a very, very gentle fry. See, that's even too hot, I'm gonna turn down. Turn down. And cast iron really takes about five minutes to heat up, so, uh, now, while this is happening, I'm gonna take my shiitakes, give them a little bit of water. What this is gonna help me do, um, once these absorb some water, is, is help me slice them more easily. So these have been going for about four minutes. See the, uh, the bottom there? Uh, I want a little bit more there. Uh, maybe, maybe two minutes more and even just slightly lower temperature. Um, when a nice, slow caramelization. And uh, the oil is definitely now fully saturated and absorbed. So these babies are going perfectly. And that is exactly what we're looking for. It's still too hot. Um, bringing the temperature down, still. So shiitakes are soft enough to cut, and don't throw this water away. There's all that umami flavor from the shiitakes. Um, so I'm gonna put them aside. Put the ramen in. Now the trick to ramen is the amount of water. If you put too much water, the ramen will get soupy. If you put too little water, um, it will, uh, just turn into this like gelatinous mass. And another factor is how long you cook the noodles. If you don't cook the noodles long enough, um, they, they, they're they just very tough um, and, and, and unenjoyable. And if you cook them too long, they get too soft. So it's just exactly like pasta. You want them al dente. Put my flavor packet in there. You know, we saved hours making a broth here, so. All right, so the noodles are barely covered. 
and uh, that's gonna be perfect. Um, my eggplant is n could use a little bit more on that side. Uh, about two minutes more on this side. Eggplant has a lot of water in it. Um, so over here, let's take our shiitakes and uh, bring them down to a chewable bite size. Plop it into the broth. Now we're gonna deep fry these. Um, once we have some space in the pan for the eggplant, add a little bit of shallot. Again, we are making an umami bomb here. Um, so why not, you know, and just, just some simple cuts, nothing fancy. We're not, they'll all come apart in the pan. So that's looking good there. Now your bok choy, you really only want to go uh, a minute, a minute or two with the bok choy. Uh, otherwise it will sort of disintegrate. Um, so we save that for last. So let's take a look over here at the eggplants. Yeah, and I'm gonna call that, call the eggplants. Just make sure to get as much oil as possible there. The ramen's coming up to temperature, and let's plop our carrots in. Ouch, ouchy, ouch. Oh yeah, you're not a cook if you're not getting burnt, you know? And um, now since this dish is so, so incredibly salty and flavorful, uh, it's always good to balance the dish with something, you know, a little sweet. Um, and, and I'm just gonna take my little pepper here, plop that in as well. And uh, I like I like I like this apple here, um, you know, to complement complement the extreme. And, and and we're just gonna literally we're not gonna put this into the dish. It's just served on the side, um, you know, sort of like a dessert. Because uh, um, you know, it's a very salty, flavorful dish. Balance between sweet and salty. And the, and the apples are watery too. So let's uh, let's do up this eggplant and um, nice bite-sized pieces. So about four that way, and then four in the other direction. And this really does make a difference. Um, you know the uh, look how much oil that absorbed and. Um, all right, so it's bok choy time. And these are gigando, ginormal bok choy. Uh, if you can get smaller bok choy, um, that would be good too. So just two of these gigandos. Uh, would be about the right balance. I'll save this for tomorrow. Yeah, this is like gonna be so big uh, that um, some kind of cut on this to make it so I'm gonna cut off the uh, stems and definitely, you know, plop these right in. See, right there. And then, um, since this is just like unpalatable, you can't, if these were smaller, it wouldn't be as much of an issue, but, uh, no, you don't wanna have to be cutting. It's sort of an Asian thing to, um, not have to need a knife at the table because all the cutting and the seasoning as well, you know, is, is done by me, the master chef. No, just kidding. I am but an amateur home chef. All right. Got some good caramelization, aka browning on the carrots. Let's take these aside so we can... Just a simple quarter, quartering of the carrots. These are hot. Oh, but they smell good. And time to go into the soup. 
Man, did that ramen hit this spot. I can't do this without your support. Please give me thumbs up. Please subscribe. I do so much other cooking stuff like rock and roll oatmeal or other things to get you up in the morning like yerba mate and tea besides coffee. Some incredible stuff to check out. I also do pancake tips and some super easy tomato sauce. So thank you so much. Please subscribe. Please give me thumbs up. Cook incredible food. Um, feed your body, feed your mind. Don't go hungry. See you next time.